What's up everybody? Uh, got another video here. And if you're new here and you like this content, at the end of the video, you're like, hmm, I enjoyed that video, hit the like button. Please destroy that like button and hit subscribe. Really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and I'm gonna keep making videos. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing and giving my analysis of the big one. It is the largest, most expensive sack that the company Love Sack produces. Now, I try to make my apartment as dope as possible, as homey as possible, and really give a good vibe, you know what I'm saying? Because I like to nap, everybody likes to nap, you know? So I need an environment that promotes healthy napping. So I hand selected certain items in the apartment to make me feel a little homier, you know? For example, this cow, because I love cheeseburgers. This eagle artwork, because I love America. And the giant sack, because I love napping. Man, everybody loves napping in comfort. So a few months ago, I get on the website, Love Sack. They got a bunch of weird furniture on there too. Um, but you know, just kind of scroll past that. Um, you want to find the sacks section, you know, pull, scroll right past that weird sectional thing. Yep, here's the sacks, shop sack. You know, I got into this and they have a variety of sacks. You know, there's this one, that one, the big one, the super sack. You got the movie sack, the pillow sack. I mean, 650 for a pillow, come on, bro. Anyhow, what we're gonna be reviewing today is the big one. This is the one that I got, 95 pounds, six feet wide, four feet tall. Now, when you're scrolling around, you can um, select what type of cover you want. You want to get a cover on this thing. I'll explain later in the video. I got the Fox Fur, hit add to cart, and then a few days later, this showed up at my doorstep. Look at this. This is the packaging that they sent me. It's like a, you know, kind of smaller. So yeah, I mean, um, it come in like this duffel bag type of... Uh type of packaging you know this the sack was in this zipped up and um so i mean obviously this is a lot smaller than the sack now that's the thing this is not a typical beanbag chair this is filled with memory foam so it can be condensed to you know pretty uh small size after you take it out of the packaging it'll instruct you to uh beat it up kick it throw it around you know i mean it's 100 pounds so it's kind of some work but you got to fluff it and decompress all of that memory foam. You remove it from the packaging, beat the hell out of it, flip it around, you know, fluff it up, and the memory foam expands. This is about the size that you're going to get. About this big. So yeah, just to um, give it like some comparison, here is a chair. You know, so uh, this is what it, this is its size compared to a chair. It's. 95 pounds of memory foam. It's just chunks of memory foam. And that's what really delivers the comfort on this thing. Now, on the packaging and on the website, it claimed that four, it, it can seat four people. Two adults, two children. Uh, I don't see that happening with me. I'm 6'2", 250 pounds. Um, so it, it fits me perfectly, and then it fits like just me and my girlfriend, you know, also pretty well. But I wouldn't say that more than two people, two adults, could really get on this thing, unless they're like dwarfs. So if you're considering getting one, um, just keep that in mind that it's likely not going to fit your whole family or whatever you may think. Um, it is big. It is very big but it's not really as big as advertised, or maybe I'm just above average size. I don't know, you know, I'm a big dude, but don't be thinking you're gonna be fitting, you know, the whole family on the thing. Now, uh, if you're watching this video, you're either like a subscriber, one of my buddies, or you are cons you're just a random person who is considering getting a love set. So to those people, I will give you my final analysis. Do I think it's worth it? Do I think it's worth like fucking $1,200, um, all that? Okay, for starters, 
We're gonna rate the comfort level of the thing out of five stars. Now, I did get the fox fur covering on it and I suggest if you get one, you must get a cover because the sack that holds all the memory foam does not seem too strong. Seems like it maybe could break if you're just sitting on it a lot. So make sure you get a cover and it does add to the comfort. With this fox fur cover that I got, I would rate it probably a four out of five stars in comfort so long as you get a good landing. It's very important that you jump backwards and you land in the thing the way you want to sit, you know, because it's kind of hard to arrange yourself around once you've landed in there because you have compressed some of the foam. So this is the love sack. This is exactly what you want to want to do. Jump straight backwards, aim your ass for the center. Because then you're pushing down into the center with the core of your weight, lifting up the back. So you get a little bit, bit of uh, back support. You see, I'm kind of just cradled in the thing. Now, um, does the comfort justify the price? And, you know, I'm going to be honest here. I would say no. I would say you probably can construct one of these for, you know, a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks or so. Um, it's just if you want the convenience of someone else making it for you and you know Making sure it's done right professionally made well, then you can get one, but I would say I could probably make one um, Just as much and let me know in the comments. Maybe that'll be my next video. I try and make a love sack better than love sack makes it. Uh, I might do that, but Anyhow, that's my final analysis. Like I said, drop a like, subscribe, all that shit. Peace. Ooh.